Hello, we are back on the Silver Fox Hustle podcast. This is episode number 71. Follow us on Spotify, YouTube and uh, Apple Podcasts as well. And we are everywhere, by the way. So follow us, uh, subscribe to us and click on the follow button. Don't forget. Now, uh, this is episode number 71. Uh, a very inspiring episode, i got to say. Because uh, this uh, guest I've got on the show, i got to tell you guys, before you start uh, talking rubbish about me, I've been trying to get her for the, the past... I think two years or so. Uh, she, yeah, yeah. She, she, she doesn't read her Instagram messages. So, she's here, finally, and I'm so thankful. Uh, she is a two-time SEA Games gold medalist in 2015, and recently, of course, uh, she holds the national record for the 100 meters and 200 meters sprints. She's the first female Singapore athlete to have clocked under 12 seconds for the 100 meters and under 24 seconds for the 200 meters. I think I got that right. She is uh, a graduate of the uh, from the Singapore Sports School, Republic Poly, and also from the Singapore Management University, a degree in accountancy. But she is currently a copywriter, right? And uh, that's a surprise. But uh, Welcome to the Silver Fox Hustle podcast. Hi. S- Sprint Queen. Happy Tiberia. to be here. <laughs> finally. <laughs> you you said it. I didn't say it, right? So finally. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize it was so long. <laughs> uh, oh thank you so much for being here, by the way. You know, I think you, you just uh, had to do something as well in the morning, right? So very busy uh, woman. <laughs> but uh, okay, let, let's start. Uh, just, just warm up a little bit, right? We talk about the copywriting part, right? Okay. Tell us what does a copywriter do in the first place? I mean, copywriting, I think, can branch out to quite a bit of things. But for for me, personally, yeah. I do... Um, so, I work for an uh, influencer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just one? Uh, just one influencer. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, I'm not going to say who, like, yeah, just yeah. to protect. Yeah. Right. But, um, so, I mean, what our company does, we do, like, a lot of things. We okay. do, like, editorial. So, um, we do, like, a website where we talk about a bunch of things, you know, like, okay. beauty, fashion, and, like, lifestyle. That's kind of what we do. So yeah. my main role is to basically cover pieces like that. And um, I mean, I love it. Like, <laughs> that's the whole reason why I wanted to join. Like, I've always been a fan of her and her website. Okay. So... A, lo- a local person? A, yes, local. A, a right, so right. I decided to just give it a shot, given like, I don't have experience in it whatsoever. Right, right. But yeah, I just wanted to try and then she took me in. Uh, this this yeah. is very interesting, actually. So we do have, actually, f- folks, uh, local celebrities... Yes. Who actually gets uh, or get people to actually write for them stuff on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, like, I don't write for her. Like, if there's any copywriting, then, like, uh, it's mainly for the website. Right, right. Uh, So, uh, how about the accountancy bit? Are you going to get into that (laughs) maybe later on in live? I don't know. We'll (laughs) see. But, um, I mean, at that, I mean, yeah, just to uh, lay it on the table. It's just something, at that point in time, I just felt like it wasn't right for me. Okay. And uh, I think even throughout my university, I was just like, this doesn't feel like it's me. All right. Yeah. Okay. And I know a lot of people would think that like, I'll go into something sports related. So like every yeah. time I bring True. up my job, they're like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> First, wait, you did accounting, but then I thought you do something sports yeah. related. I'm just like, I know that's kind of like where the train of thought goes. Mm. But for me, um, that's just not my thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, we, we want to get into the mind of a, a, a sprint queen you know, what you do and stuff like that. But l- that that comes a little bit later on. But because to know that, right, we got to know yeah. where you came from, yeah. right? So growing up, right, how, how was it like? Uh, you ha- how many siblings do you have? I have three s- older siblings. Okay. So I'm the, I'm the baby. You're the baby. The, the, the pampered one? A super pampered. Really? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Honestly, like even now, you know, like, yeah, I'll just like get started, you know, like how I grew up. Um, I think because I am the baby of the family, I think... Uh, my siblings really doted on me, okay. you know, like, th- throughout my entire childhood, like, they acted as parents, you know, so I had so many parents in the house. Um, yeah, so it was, it was really nice growing up with my family, just because, like, it was a great environment to be mm, in, mm. and they're the ones that exposed me to sports in the first place. Are they sports um, people as well? My parents were, but, okay. you know, just for, like, you know, school, that, yeah. that kind of thing. But, um, and, and then my siblings were as well, but, um, not national level Only okay. my sister Only yeah. my sister Valerie made it to like The national team Of um, what what sport? Track and field Oh okay, also, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right 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 She was like The previous Sprint queen <laughs> Okay Alright <laughs> Yeah yeah So uh, Yeah I think But that said Like since young We were just exposed To like To do as many Things as possible mm. Like when I was younger I did like I did tap dance I did ballet right. I did piano Wow I went for Chinese tuition 
Then we just horrible. Was that your mother tongue or second language? So it was my second language in school. Okay. Yeah. So I learned Chinese until um, O levels. Huh? How was that? Was it easy? No, it was so difficult because I mean, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. It was <laughs> I can imagine. I'm not even gonna like sugarcoat it. It was difficult. Yeah. And then also like fun fact, when I was <laughs> in primary school, my mom accidentally sent me to tuition, right? Chinese tuition. No, but she put me in a higher Chinese class. Ah. And so I didn't know what was going on <laughs> in the class, you know, because they took, like, they used the syllabus that we, that the higher Chinese students used in school. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the textbook was totally different from what I had. So I brought my textbook, I'm like, why yeah. is it a different colour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I was so confused. And then I finally realised, like, mom, I think this is higher Chinese. And then she's like, oh my god. And then they finally, and then, Everything made sense. Did, did you that. did you pass your? I did. Yeah? I got C six. I passed. Oh, that's 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 good <laughs> enough, man. For a non. I was so. Yeah. I think I tell my friends like I think I was the happiest person in the room. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. like compared to people who got like you know A two. Mm. <laughs> how, how about CCAs? Did you what what kind of CCAs do you do in school? Actually, I did track all the way. Right. Only in primary three. Okay. That was when I did like. I took up tap dance first. I, mm. I don't know why my parents convinced me to take like, okay. something fun and creative. Gee, so it is fun, isn't it? It was really, like the costumes were mad. It was right, crazy. So right. I took that up first and then it was only because I competed at sports day mm. and the track and field coach kind of like picked me up from there. Right, right, So right, for right. the year primary three, I did two CCAs. Okay. Yeah, I did those two. But then it got like, it became like a lot. So primary four onwards, I just dropped one. Uh, Studies yeah. wise, where, which schools did you go to, by the way? Yeah, I went to IJ Katong. Okay. Yeah, primary. And then sports school, mm. RP, and then SM. Right, right, right. Mm. How how were your studies like, basically, in general? Average. Very yeah. average, yeah, to be very honest. Like, I never, like, excelled because Because you were too caught up in CCAs and, and what have you? or you I just think it was a bit of both. Like, I right. mean, I'm not the best student yeah. in terms of, like, you know. Right. Um, being able to constantly score high marks and okay, everything. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely like you know studies. I mean, um, sports had a mm. part to play la, Like you do, especially in uni. Okay. I think that's when it got really difficult because yeah. sports school and and RP day. I was in a program where like you know, it's kind of it's very manageable to mm. balance both. And yeah. so I did really well in sports school and RP. But then when it came to uni, it was really hard to juggle. Okay. Even though like type. Like timetable wise It's very flexible Like I can Choose my timetable yeah. Kind of But It's a whole Different ball game la. True. So True. that's when It got a bit difficult yeah. Now you spoke about uh, your, your your start in track and field right? When did it actually Start the love for Track Like when Like how The love uh. <laughs> the oh, love, You don't I love don't it know. anymore <laughs> I do I do I do <laughs> But like I don't know It just kind of started Because when I was Primary 3 um, My sister Like my sister was like very active in track mm. and field, so she was in a sports school at that time. Okay, and then she was like growing, and then like she was running for the national team and, yep. and whatnot. So that's where I kind of okay like developed the love for it, mm. or like I just wanted to try it because it looks so fun when she okay. does it, right? So yeah, so that's why I just gave like my sports day. I just asked like Can I compete in the yeah. One yeah. The 100 meters And then my, my teacher Put me in a 1 and 4 I was like Oh my god Right, right. <laughs> But sure <laughs> And so I just did it And then I won <laughs> And then like I think It's just cause I realised that I was good mm, You know mm, And that's why mm. I wanted To give it a try Right right. And then I think Over the years That's where the love Kind of just So it's, it, it, it kind of like A natural thing for you to Because you've always Been sporty right? Yeah And then yeah. the ability I was just exposed to, to it Like right. because of my parents And my sister Then Right, started from right. there. Yeah. Let's uh, talk a little bit about sports school, right? Sure. How was the experience there? You know, uh, I think it could be one of the most like like influential yeah. experiences, yeah, right? Yeah, for so sure. Were you one of the first? Oh, no, no, no. My sister, she was the first batch. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I was like, you know. Right, right, right. Way how, in already. Now. How was your experience there? It was actually really good, like, if I'm being really honest. Like, I mean, okay, the environment there can be quite competitive. Mm. So, I think one thing, like, I wish I would have done better was to just take care of my mental health lah. Because I think, in, yeah, in, when I okay. was there, because it can be really quite competitive. Right. But that aside, I got so many opportunities to like compete and train and right. and all that. So it was really, really good for me. And then like, I think it's really a good place to balance both your sports and studies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like it's so, I think... Just how they craft it is really beneficial mm. to, to an athlete. Right, like, right. 
at that age lah. Yeah. And you were talking about the mental part, right? Mm. What 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 is it? Because it was so competitive that you you got to be game on all the time, or yeah, what I is it like? Yeah, I think just like you need to be. I think you need to accept that you know you might not win all the time, okay. that kind of thing, okay. and like be okay with it, lah. Were you winning races at in the sports school? I mean, or yeah, you I just was. I was winning. I was. I was winning, lah. Right. Um, but you know, then there's like injuries and stuff like that, and okay. then like how to like take care of it and all that. What What are the things that had that that you know was put into you or, or your or your your head during your stay at sports school? We talk about obviously the physical part, right? Yeah. The, the the training part, right? And then we've got the mental part. And then how about the nutrition part? You were, how oh, how nutrition is well taken care of because like the meals are kind of prepped for us. Mm. Like we don't have like a school canteen where we kind of choose what okay. we want, right? So right. it's like we just go to the dining hall, we get served the food yep. like yep. that is already there. Yeah. And like we have a nutritionist that's part of the school. Okay. So like they kind of oversee that. Right. And honestly, the food was great. <laughs> who who were your thinking ka- about it now? Who were your khakis there? Like like you know. Also, you're... my current best friend. Yep. Like sh- I met her in sports school. She was my roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Who's she? Uh, her name is Brittany. Right. Right. She doesn't right. do track. She did track at that time, but okay. she doesn't do it anymore. Now okay. she's more into like football. Right. She's always been into football, lah. Okay. So she, that's where she just kind of ended up. Was Was Deepna in your same batch as well? No, no, no. She's like way above me. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Were you like like winning races at that age already? Like like you know, you yeah, you yeah, earmarked. Yeah. Were you already earmarked? I to think be? I was lah. I wasn't. I wasn't like you know doing fantastic timings. Okay. I think okay. if I if I remember, I think when I really did really good timings was like. Maybe sixteen, no, fifteen, sixteen onwards. Yeah, okay. That's when like my timings got really, really good. Right. But yeah lah, like in in prim- in secondary school, I was um pretty much winning. <laughs> who, yeah. who who were the coaches at the sports school like that really you you know helped to mold I was, you? I was with Margaret most of the time. Okay. I coached Margaret. Right. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I was because there were like a few coaches that I was under. Yeah. So first was Coach Pedro. Yeah. But that was very little time. That was like okay. ten months maybe. Right. Then I switched to my grandfather. What would you say like like at that time, right? Like because you're young and stuff, right? Was the single most important advice you got from? I mean, there were many, right? But that that single most important advice that you received until now, you like, yeah, that's. What was it, ah? Uh? Hmm. I think it was for like from my sister right. or like my dad also. Yeah. I think just my family lah. Okay. Like uh they just always reminded me to stay grounded okay. and like to not get in my head. Yeah. Because that happened to me once when like when I was really when I was like ten. Where like Oh interesting. What happened? Yeah, no, because <laughs> in primary three, right, like I was the youngest competitor in in my mm. my, my my entire race, right? Right. And I was like the shortest, but I won. Okay. So I got really cocky. Okay. And I was like, yeah, like I'm the best, you okay. know. And then next year, literally just one year later, <laughs> I got last for everything. Really? Yeah. And I don't even know what happened. Okay. And then like I was crying. I went to my parents. Uh. I was crying. I was crying. Then I, re- I wanted to quit track and field. I wanted to do something <laughs> else. At 10, right? At 10. Yeah. And then my dad was like, like no, like yeah. if you want to be a champion, you need to lose sometimes. Right. And then that kind of grew mm. in me until I went to a sports school. And then I think they kind of reminded me of the same thing. Okay. Like, you know, just always remember to stay grounded. You will, you will do well, you'll win races, but like, just remember nice. to have fun also. Nice. And like, just yeah, be humble. Y- you know, during the, those times, right, you know, while training and studying, you know, at sports school and, and even at RP and whatever, yeah. right? Did you ever imagine yourself winning the goal at the SEA Games, at the SEA Games level? Or mm. was your ambition at that time already higher? Like, SEA Games is... Okay, it's it's important, right? Mm. But yeah, I think honestly, right? I didn't uh think about it until way later. <laughs> really, like, I never thought about like I don't know. <laughs> I just went with the motion, you yeah. know. It's like, but I'm sure your coaches must have said something like 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 okay f- okay we we said maybe the, in their heads lah, but like they didn't spell it out to you. No, or like I don't know. I re- cannot remember honestly. I really <laughs> cannot remember. But what I do remember is that I went with the motion a lot. So okay. like okay, I s- did my first race of the season. It was like a local meet, and then like oh okay, first time right. I qualified for competitions for the rest of the right. year. Right. Then like wow, exciting! You know, I get to go here. Yeah. I get to go here. Like wow, nice. Okay, season yeah. over. And then next year, same thing. They're okay. like, wow, okay, I qualify for this, I qualify okay. for this. Then, yeah, I really... <laughs> you s- you, you seem so laid back. 
<laughs> for 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 a sprinter, right? You you seem so quite laid back, la, right? Because honestly, I'm quite laid back. Like a lot of my <laughs> friends and like even my boyfriend tell me it's like yeah. sometimes you're a bit too chill. I'm like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I, listen, people on the outside, like you who don't know you, right? Yeah. You wouldn't know, right? Like, like I, think you're they, so I think people think I'm very intense. Yeah. Like, based on my face. <laughs> apparently, okay, tell me what kind of face you have apparently now. Apparently, <laughs> I have a very stern face, like when I'm at the track. But then they talk to me, they're just like, oh. <laughs> they what? You're not like, what? at all. <laughs> yeah, like my friends tell me, it's like, yeah, you know. My closer friends are like, yeah, you know, on the track, you look super fierce. Okay, is it because you're concentrating or it's just your face? I, d- I think it's just my face because, like, I'm honestly, I don't know, like, I'm either thinking about maybe <laughs> a rap or, like, thinking about the mechanics or right, something. Right, right, right. Either that or I'm just completely stoning. Okay, o- okay <laughs> do people actually ask you whether you are, uh, like, may- maybe stuck up or whatever? Just by looking uh, at you, right? No? They never ask me lah. But no, no, I, I mean, do, do you get that impression? Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, when I hear this, I'm just like, oh, does it mean people <laughs> think I'm, like, rude and stuck up? Because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people watching at home and whatever, she's not. She's not stuck up, by the way. Right? Just say hello and maybe just she'll say, say Maybe she'll say hello back. I will say hello back. Right, okay. Yeah, just come and say hi to me. I'm a very friendly one, really. <laughs> now, 2013, right? Uh, the World Youth Championships. Yeah. I'm sure you don't even know because you're so late there. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, or is it? Is, is that? Oh, okay. In U- in U- uh, Ukraine, by the Ukraine, way. Ukraine, I remember. Yes, you sure? of course. You sure yes, remember, of huh? course. The first it's a, one of the highlights of my career. Okay, what was it? Career. I broke 12 lah! Uh, I broke 12 seconds. Right, right, right. So, sh- so you broke the 12 seconds uh, so-called barrier or whatever, yeah. right? And then in uh, 2014, the Asian Junior Athletics, right? Mm. Uh, first person to go under 24 yeah. seconds. Yeah. In, uh, yeah. That one you remember? Yes, huh? remember. Okay. Now, now, if you had like, like maybe doubts before that, mm. Maybe I could go further or whatever, right? Did that like cement a place or maybe, you know, erase all those doubts that, hey, I broke this like below 12, below 24, yeah. right? Let, let's push on, you know, maybe I can go better. Yeah. Uh, I think, okay, let me try to recall what <laughs> happened. Right. Uh, yeah, so I remember in that year, that 2013, yeah. there were like races that I competed in that I came so close to breaking 12. Okay. And then, the pressure in me kind of built. It's like, mm. oh my god, like I'm so close, but yet, like, right. I can't do it, I can't do it. Right. So, then when I went to Ukraine, I think I was just, um, I was just really happy to be there and, like, okay. be at a World Youth yeah. Championship. Like, it's a big deal, right. you know? And, like, there was really no expectations in terms of, like, qualifying for the semi finals or the mm. finals. And so, I think my mind was really blank. Really? And that's why, like, even, no, and then somehow, right, after the race, <laughs> They never flashed my timing. So okay. I didn't know. Okay. I had no idea until I went back to my team. Yeah. And then they're like, oh my god, congrats. I'm just like, why? They're like, what happened? There you go. They're like, you just ran 11, 8, 9. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I was like screaming. I was like, oh my okay. god. Right. That was crazy. Yeah, then so after that, um, it was a huge confidence boost la, mm. for sure. Like I was ready to take on the yeah. rest of the season. That year was my first E Games. Right. So like I was right. yeah, just really excited la. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. We move forward. Yes. <laughs> to 2015. This right. one, I'm sure everybody remembers. Yes. Right. And and listen, this was a, a real surreal feeling for most Singaporeans. Yeah. Okay, we s- forget about you for now. <laughs> forget about you. Right. No, no, seriously, because I was watching this live yeah. on, on TV, my son and my yeah. do- uh, daughter, not born yet. I think she was just born oh, okay. or something. And we were just watching this, right? And the home stretch and, yeah. and what have you. And it was like, wow. Yeah. You know, so... Tell me your feeling. <laughs> if you can remember. I can remember because I I think that games, right? Like I think I shared before. Um, now that I think about it. Uh, at that time, I was like, you know, young. It was my second C Games. So I was mm. like, just happy that it was in the home crowd. Right. And like, people actu- were actually there. Like, the stadium was filled, you know. I mean, not all the way, but filled on the home stretch. La. And like, I think just being in that kind of atmosphere was so nice yeah. and being with like that whole team and like it was such a it was such a very nice feeling so like a lot of good vibes came into like yeah. the competition so even though I had my expectations in terms of timing like yeah I want to hit my 23s I, I don't want to hit 24s that kind of thing but I never thought that because to me I just I don't know why I thought a SEA Games medal right was like out of my reach. Like, that's, like, too good. 
you know, it's like really the grades get serious <laughs> battles. Okay. Like that's what I thought. Okay. So I never expected myself to be in that position. Mm. So I didn't expect to win a medal yeah. even like yeah. um, at both my events, especially so, the two hundred. So even at that time, there was no like like specific goal set. I think timing, yes. Okay, like, I okay, want to hit okay, like twenty three. Right. Is that kind of timing? But medals, no. Like even if my coach taught it, I didn't because okay. like I didn't like I said lah. Like it just felt like a very exclusive thing that okay. only grades can do it you know yeah hey, i want to ask you this question and this is just from me because uh, i've been watching all the sea games and and what yeah. have you right uh, especially i'm talking about singapore athletes right okay so when they do interviews after a game uh, after whatever races and yeah. what have you right and, I feel and like this is gonna be a funny thing okay you know, it's, 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 it's a it's a true it's a yeah. real thing like like they, they ask the and the athlete the athlete always says this what uh I'm just going for a personal best. Yeah. Uh, that, that in terms of timing and not going for the medals. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? Uh. Do we do we do we have this like I don't I don't know. I, to me, right on the so, someone looking from the outside, do mm. we have like an inferiority complex maybe. kind of thing? Maybe as as a as a nation. Maybe in, maybe yeah. Do we maybe track and feel wise? I mean, I can't really say okay. speak for anyone else, yes. but yeah, maybe like maybe that's how I felt, you know, like okay. going into a competition like that. I felt like you know maybe Singapore is not like the best out of mm. all the countries. That's mm. why I feel like a medal is like way out of my reach, you know. Right, right. So yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, that was the question, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now listen, you you won it, right? Mm. Uh, and and the gold medal, the first in forty two years, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. How did that win change you, uh, personally as a person? How did that uh, kind of like change you uh how did that change me mm. i think i'm sure you you had your feet firmly on the ground your dad or your mom or your parents won't like let you no i mean they were yeah. so happy yeah. like you know they were in the stands they mm. were crying they were like they couldn't believe what just happened okay and uh yeah i think that's where things change la. like you know everything changed just right. because like you know everybody kind of had their eye mm. on me like oh wow yeah. like this girl has has a lot of potential, like she can probably go faster, like she just want okay. our goal, she can continue to do that at every edition and and go on to do more. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's kind of where like the expectations were built and like mm. there was so much pressure that was put on me um, from outside and on myself. La. Like I also wanted to like <clears throat> better my, my previous best and then there's always that that frustration when I didn't do it at like the yeah. next race or like yeah. anything like that you know and that, that just kind of like built and built and built and then it just became worse over time but would you think that is natural like like if you do win something like like at, I'm, I'm talking about yeah I think it's it is the way it is yeah. you know like yeah. when you when you win something there's obviously gonna be like some sort of pressure because yeah like everybody to at you now lah you were know? you prepared for it? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think I was prepared ah. for it. Yeah, like, I s- at that time, I thought I was. Mm. But then now that I look back, I think, like, yeah, I just wasn't, like, I didn't have enough experience or, like, mm. or, or I, yeah, I just I just didn't know how to cope with it the as best as I could, you know? Like, right. I didn't know how to just forget about what everybody was saying yeah. and just do my thing. Like, I didn't know how to do that. So, so mentally, it got to you? It did, la, for sure. Like, right. especially... As I grew up a bit older and then like um, there's even more experiences to take with me, <laughs> right? Yeah, and then yeah, everything yeah. just became a lot harder and then a lot of life changes as well. Was there like specific people assigned to help you out in, in the sports fraternity side, the the, the, the NSAs I mean, or whatever you um, want to call it? I mean, I do like talk to sports psychologists yeah. like every now and then. Um, but still, like, I mean, it takes a process, you know. How important like, are they? I mean, I'm just looking at this whole thing, I mean, right? Very important lah because um like now, you know, um seven years later, I feel mm. like everything that I we have been going through mm. for, you know, the entirety of the time, like it's kinda showing fruition now. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like I mean it did take a while <laughs> but <Right. laughs> I needed to be like in a right head space to, to, to like listen and Okay, let's let let's uh bring you to that part when you, you won it in two thousand fifteen. What was the main... W- was there any plan to take you... 
like be- because it's it's the sea games right mm. was there any plan from then on like a specific plan like okay let's uh, let's let's tweak our training sessions this is our goal uh, to get to even big bigger things right yeah. like like you you talk about olympics right or obviously that that can come with the timing not not medals but yeah, timing yeah. and stuff like that so what was there planned specifically um, for yeah, you yeah so the plan was to the goal after the sea games was to aim towards asian games lah okay. which was happening two years eh, three years later right so yeah that was the plan like to everything i was doing was to lead up to that mm. big major okay. games um and then yeah so uh, yeah th- that was that was mainly the plan and then uh unfortunately <laughs> the year of the games i got injured lah okay so that kind of just threw a hole into yes, everything yes, that in the books, yeah. i've been preparing for so that was sad. <laughs> that, yeah. That was sucky. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, and then then 2017 happened. 2019 yeah. happened. We're talking about Sea Games, right? Yeah. Looking at how things have gone, you got bronzes for both, right? Were there any sense of regret and disappointment, like like? Disappointment for sure, lah. Yeah. I mean, because like I didn't meet everyone. That everyone's expectations ac- along with my own okay. like I didn't I didn't meet it you know I want to win the goal again like that's always what I want I yeah. always want to win especially since I know that I did it before yeah um, so it's no longer like I'm coming here as like a newbie and like yeah. I'm I'm just running to to do my best you know it's not yeah. like that anymore <laughs> like right. I'm one of the I'm one of the front runners now like so ever one since of the twi- best. yeah I'm uh, one of the twi- like from 2017 onwards like that's just how it is la. like that's just yeah. yeah every time I come to a 200 or even a 100 it's like I'm one of the best now yeah so I can't take it as if like oh yeah you know like yeah. I'm just here having fun even though I can I mm. can think that way because like mm. yeah like that's the you know when I don't really care about what other people think of me that's the way it can be but I just didn't think that. Did you did you always like like had this thing at the back of your mind like like you're talking about people talking not you yeah. uh, like people did you have that like have <laughs> loads of times yeah all the so time. you got to you basically so like. yeah so I think across like you know the entire time it really did get to me like I I started you know believing what everyone was ah, saying which is what which is what that I wasn't good anymore lor. yeah that like I'm not good enough anymore. Like, I'm no longer at where I was mm. and I can't get back to it. Yeah. But I mean, this is not so fast right after the 2015 yeah. games. La. Like, right, this is, right. you know, over time. Yeah. Uh, more recent. Yeah. Not not really, like, you know, three, four years ago. Um. Yeah, then I think that's where it really took a toll on mm. me. Like, more so in, like, the last couple of years. La, yeah. Because, like, you know, I'm a bit older now. I'm yeah. no longer, like, cheery 19-year-old um, who won the SEA Games, right? So, like, that's really when it got to me. I started believing what everyone said that like, yeah, maybe I'm really, you know, this is my end. And, um, and yeah, I, I kind of struggled because I thought, you know, I was coming at the end of my university degree or so. Yeah. And like, at that point, I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I want to do. Mm. And then, if I'm not good at, if I if I don't pursue my accounting degree and then if I'm not good at track, then like, who am I? Right, you know, I've right. always, I've always thought of myself as, like sprint queen, right? Yeah. And like if I'm not there anymore, then like, yeah. what am I? Right. So like huge ident- identity crisis la yeah. at, at that point in time. It was, that's, I think really, I feel now that's when I hit like rock bottom. Mm. And then, unfortunately, that was like right before Olympics. <laughs> right. And so like, even going through it, like, I was so excited. Like yeah. I got this opportunity. This is what I've been wanting my entire track life, you know, like to go to the Olympics, to participate. Yep. But I'm not even in the right hit space for it. Yep. So that was like so unfortunate. You right, know, like right. I was there, I was like I know I'm, like <laughs> you don't wanna go into a games thinking like I don't wanna be here. Like right. I know I'm not gonna do well. So you had that kind of So that's yeah. was me la like, you know, um right before right before Olympics. So not a place that any athlete wants to be in. Like even if it's the Olympics and you know like you know you can't medal and like maybe not even qualify for the semifinals, yeah. but like Either way, you know, like that's not a in you know, a hit space that you want to be in. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> there's this l- listen, there's there's lots of things that that you know that contributed to your yeah. you know that that fifteen mm-hmm. to 
now yeah. you, you know there's there's so many things so right many things. injuries was one the 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 hate was one and everything people's uh, you know yeah. expectations so it's it's very important as well for people at home yeah because it's easy for us right to just mm-hmm. sit in front of the telly and say hey she's slack man this year yeah. or, or she's you know so we, we don't exactly know what happened behind the scenes yeah. you know and we only know it from journalists from the papers and stuff yeah. like that so uh, i think it's very important that we understand and this is a perfect example that you know we we, we, we hear it f- first from 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 shanti here it's you know there's there's loads of things right this year what changed do, what, what what do you think that was the main you know because yeah there, there's lots of problems right and we yeah. talk about infighting and all we don't want to go there because that's for a different podcast yeah. for another five hours <laughs> but what happened what changed you know i don't know like <laughs> okay yeah I, I, i was thinking about it you know like after because i mean i was asked this mm. a lot also yeah and um I mean, honestly, even in the first few months of my season, so I I competed quite a bit. I competed here in Singapore. I competed um, overseas in KL and Australia. But I was always like crippled by fear, a bit that you know, this was still coming off the whole Olympics kind of mindset where like I'm just afraid. I'm just scared like to compete and just because I think about the outcome and I think about oh man like. What if I do a shit time? It's just fear, isn't it? It's really just fear. Like I was scared to show up at the start line. You know, right, I was right. scared to run. <laughs> like yeah. I've never felt like that. Yeah. You know, um, like you know, like back in 2015, 2016, right. I, I didn't feel that way. And so, like, it was really a hard place to get out of, mm. and like it required <laughs> so much. Um. It required a lot of work, lah. Like right, with right. with with my psychologist and my coach yeah. and just the people around me, you know, like. And I'm so thankful for them because I think that being, like, just talking to everybody and 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 really, deciding to listen instead mm. of blocking everybody out, I think that's kind of what helped me, like you know, um. Just. Just realizing the fact that. People don't. All these people that I don't know, they don't matter. You know, at the end of the day, they are not the ones that I'm gonna go to with happy tears. They're not the ones I go to when I cry, and I'm upset about something. You know, like my success isn't determined by what people think about me. You know, and I think more. You know, especially my coach told me that like over and over again, that like. Why do you care what people think of you? It's not their journey; it's yours. And I'm like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I think I just kind of I forced myself to embrace that yeah. mentality. Yeah. Where like, you know what? Yeah, like, it's my thing. Like, why am I letting people what people say affect me? Yeah. You know, when like at the end of the day, like, even if I do well, right. They're still gonna talk about me, but <laughs> you know, True. they're still gonna talk about me, whether it's good or it's bad. And <laughs> yeah, there was still bad people tell me I look fat, you know, like on the TV screen, and then they see me and realize like, oh, actually you're not. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, people are still gonna yeah. talk, and like, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, and so I just developed this mindset where like, I really don't care, yeah. You know, like I'm not gonna care about what people think about me. I'm just gonna go there, do my thing. If I lose, okay. Listen, like, it's it's yeah. I'll deal with it. How I deal with it, like with the people that matter, right? You know, yeah. So I think that's what kind of change, and it was right before the games, like maybe a month before. Okay. I was just like, oh my god, you know what? I've had it. I've had it. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Like I'm, s- <laughs> I'm sick of it. Right, right. Yeah, I think that's what changed. Uh. You, just you talking like that, right? I I just feel that you're just releasing everything. Yeah. You, 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 know, you, you know what I mean? Like like, and listen, it's just, it's well put as well because yeah. people are always going to talk. Yeah. You, no matter it, what, yeah. like it doesn't even matter yeah. honestly. And uh, especially yeah. no, listen, especially for athletes, you know, mm. a- athletes in general, right? Uh, track and field, football, yeah. wh- whatever, right? Yeah. You're always going to get something it's out in, on Twitter. Like, on like, you know, it's all about think. Cause yeah, it's you're like. It's inevitable, yeah. you know. Like I'm gonna talk about people as well. Yeah. Like everyone's gonna talk about whatever they want to, and like people are entitled to their own opinions. Yeah. Like, of course, right. you know. So like, 
That's just something I cannot control. Yeah. Yeah. But what what we do can control is like people on the outside. Like we got to respect. You know, I think that's very important. <laughs> you got to respect people, and and you know, it, it's it's very important. And we don't know exactly know how hard you you guys have been training, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know, mm. right? But I tell you what, I was watching the two hundred meters final yeah. again, yeah. right? This year, <laughs> and I tell you what, it's been the it uh, it took ages for you to celebrate. Yeah, it did. Did did did, it did you did. know that, right? I it was know. like I was watching it, and then I watched it on YouTube again, and then like you were like, yeah. You, Because like it really <laughs> like I couldn't believe it because <laughs> I couldn't okay I mean the goal going into it was yeah. yes I want to win right, right? same right. thing same mentality but then it took so much like yeah. mental strength right that like that's what I couldn't believe like yeah. I couldn't believe like I broke that barrier you know yeah. and like yeah. and like I did it yeah. like <laughs> yeah that's why I got so emotional because right. like oh wow like look at everything that I've been through yeah. and like so many people doubted me but like no man I'm still here yeah. you're still here still yeah. fighting congratulations still fighting. by the way thank you so much it was the longest wait for you to celebrate but it was well worth yeah. the wait well I done. think I only <laughs> I only celebrated when no, I only like <laughs> realized when my team manager my assistant team manager passed me the flag the flag yes I saw that one <laughs> and I left him hanging yeah. and everybody became fond of him for it I'm like I'm sorry man I had to cry first he's nice, like yeah nice, it's okay nice. <laughs> now let's get into the head of, of uh, a track and field athlete mm. right now it's an individual sport yep what are training sessions like is it like damn it, it's hard right it's hard it's hard training I know I've seen those <laughs> athletes train right it's hard It, it's a lonely sport isn't it yeah I mean of course you got your coach yeah. but then it's like how how difficult is it to control and I think that's why it hits you mentally sometimes yeah I think so I mean um, it helps if you have a training group I think that mm. like definitely help people who do your event as well okay. um, that really helps okay. but for me I don't have anyone that does my event I only have boys mm. you know so but I think it's okay um, as long as yeah I think my coach just kind of crafts it in a way where all of us can still run together mm. so it's not so much about like having to figure out how to run alone yeah. even though sometimes we do have to, f- to, to, to deal with that yeah. and that's really difficult because running alone is just a whole different game yeah. it's just <laughs> it's not easy la. Right, right. and um, yeah so I think it really helps if you have a good like if you have a training group with you mm. but on the times that I don't um, I think It's just a lot. It's really about communication with your coach, lah. Like okay. I think if you just constantly communicate, give he gives me feedback and I listen to his feedback and I just work on it and work on it, and work on it. Then yeah. it gets easier. Like right. the process gets a lot easier. But then every week is that. <laughs> you yeah. know, every week, every day is that. Okay. It's just constant feedback and just like mm. listening, communicating with like each other. Yeah. That yeah. And then it, sessions can get pretty long as well because especially we do like really intense workouts where like each rep has to be like 100%. Okay. Then it means that like, we have to rest really long. Ah. Uh. Which means sessions is like three hours plus. I'm just like yeah. lying down there just trying to recover for the next set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's really yeah. a mental game on its own just having True. to go down for a training session. Physical attributes of a sprinter, what do you think? Do you, is, there, is there a set physical attributes that you... You know, honestly... I think last time mm. there used to be like like a standard way a sprinter supposed to look. Okay. I think now it's totally different. Like okay. I feel like sprinters there's a variety of sprinters lah now. Okay. Like you don't have to look super duper muscular. Okay. You don't have to be of a certain height. You can yeah. be tall like you simply was tall, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So I think it totally changed like across the years. Okay. Um but generally I think all a sprinter need Needs is a good butt. <laughs> okay, the yeah. glutes. The glutes. That's like I think most important. Ah, for I I didn't know that. Yeah. Glutes. That's that's yeah. the that's pretty much the most important. That's la. the most. I feel like it's the most important. So okay. like just work on that. You cannot just work on that, but that's like <laughs> the. J Lo must be a great thing. sprinter, man. Right. She should have tried. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And, and they also cause like that's what was um. Explain to me, like by okay. my coach, that okay. coach is like really important. Ah, yeah. interesting. What goes into your head just before a race? So I try to li- leave it blank. 
Like there's okay. nothing in my head. So the only thing I'm saying to my it's just I'm just repeating keywords to myself. Mm. And then like Yeah, that's it. Okay. Like that's really it. The goal is to have absolutely nothing, nothing in my mind. Okay. Yeah, because like I don't want to be thinking about the outcome. I don't okay. want to be thinking about com- my competitors. Right, like right. I'm just thinking about me are you, myself. Are you a naturally fast starter or a slow? No, I'm a slow starter. A slow starter. Just like you both, can see right? on my hundred meters, I'm a yeah. slow starter. I okay. only catch up at the end. I think that's why my two hundred is better. Because a hundred meters, you there's no room for error actually. Not not yeah. much, yeah. Not much unless your top end speed, which is like the last fifty yeah. meters, is like solid. You know. What do you think about showboating? Uh, when I say showboating, I'm I'm talking about in terms of confidence, like yeah. like Usain Bolt. Yeah. You know, he the, the the things that he does before. Yeah. I mean, he can do it lah because he's he's done yeah, it right. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know, even before he was winning, he was like you you can tell right. Yeah. What do you think about it? do do you? I, I mean, you don't because la. you 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 have a poker <laughs> face, right? I mean, but what I'm saying is, is is it good? Do you think it gives? Honestly, uh, to each his own lah. Right? Like, yeah, you know, you can do. I think, yeah. Like you can do whatever you want. Like yeah, you win a race, like and it was amazing. But like, okay. yeah, I think do whatever you want, lah. You know, <laughs> like for you simple, I I I watch his races, right? Especially now, like having yeah. gone through like you yeah. know so many years of track, and then right. I rewatch his races. I'm like, wow, actually this guy is amazing. Eh. Mm. Like, <laughs> okay. like he he went through all that stress. You know, he he handled the pressure of being a returning champion yeah. and he did it again yeah that's amazing uh, that's the, actually so the he deserves the showboating like just go around the whole track twice <laughs> like actually, just do it actually that's the, that's the next question I wanted to ask you right? mm. what's the secret to maintaining that 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 performance level, right? uh. that level because it's I, I think uh, as, yeah. a, as a sportsman right it's always easier to get there but then to it's maintain it's to maintain there, it yeah, yeah. I think like it's more a metal game than anything okay. like physically okay. I think people can maintain one like okay. I think it's no problem right. because I mean it's also about adapting to where you are mm. at life at a particular time okay. like let's say now I'm working right so I uh, rest is a bit more important mm. like rest and recovery is a bit more important okay. so I might not clock in as many sessions as what I did last time Okay. just because like, my recovery process is a lot slower Okay. and also because like I don't have time to rest during the day lah, so mm. Some, I, I, I sometimes I skip my morning session just so I can rest okay. a bit more. So it's also that it's about like adapting to where you are at right. that time. But I think that's okay to do. Okay. But it's more a metal gain than anything else, right, la, right, To right. be able to maintain it. And as you it's, go. it's an attitude as well, right? You yeah. must you must have it as well. Like like yeah. you want to get better. You wanna you. Wanna yeah, yeah yeah. I mean you should always. The goal is obviously to just you know. Remain confident, believe yeah. in yourself, yeah. that kind of thing. Okay. And like, it's so easy to doubt yourself, right? Yeah, like, very, very Especially if you like, have a few bad races and then people True. just start like, oh my god, like, okay, maybe she's not there anymore. Yeah. We, so. we, we talk about critics. Mm. What is the worst rumour you've heard about yourself? Worst rumour? Mm, maybe that law that, um, that I am... Not good enough in radio. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever thought of like, I- I'm going to quit? Like, okay, I've, I've had enough. I'm, I'm just going out. I've actually never reached that stage. Okay. Yeah. Good. Because I think, I always knew like at the back of my head that like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know? Nice. But then, yeah lah. Nice. That, that was at the back of my head. Uh, like, <laughs> so, I was just I, like... I, I like your tattoo, by the way. Oh, thank you. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. Well, Shanti, quick fire round. Okay. Now yes. I, I've got a couple of questions here for my daughter. She's oh. seven, she's seven. <laughs> okay. This is what she scribbled. <laughs> wow, so cute. But I will I will like try to incorporate her questions yes, in okay. because some of the questions are like okay, Ken. duh. All right. First question: What is your favorite pre-race song? I I I understand that you like hip hop and rap and stuff like that before a race. Yes. What is your favorite? Actually, now is. A bit different. Okay. I like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I like. Um. You know the show Greatest Showman. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like the Million Dream song. Ah. By whom? By. Uh. Hugh Jackman and. Okay. Michelle Williams. Wow. That's. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. This is one from from her. I don't know why okay. she asked this. What's your favorite color? What's my favorite color? Oh my god, that's adorable. I think my favorite color is. Honestly, oh my god, I don't know. Maybe purple. Pur- purple. Yeah. She'll love that. Man. Really? She loves purple too. She loves purple. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> F- 
favorite actor and actresses or actress sorry <gasps> okay i love marvel so okay. i love you do? robert downey jr okay cool um actress ah hmm. i don't know who is my favorite I like Anne Hathaway, I guess. Ah, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Princess Diaries. Okay. <laughs> now, this is a question that she asked, okay. but I would like to rephrase, right? Okay. Do you think you can run... Eh, sorry, sorry. No, when you were small, did you want to have another job? That's that's the question she asked. So, I'm just going to rephrase it. Mm. If you were not a sp- copywriter or a sprinter or an accountant, yeah. what would you be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Please, you got to answer this one. <laughs> okay. Specific role, I don't know. But uh, I've always wanted to be in fashion. In fashion? Yeah. Great, there you have it. Yeah. You know? Nice. Uh, 100 meters or 200 meters? 200 lah. <laughs> 200. Not because you want it? Uh, no, uh, just because I feel like I'm better at it. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Fair enough. If you were a superhero, who would you be and why? Oh my god, I'll be Iron Man. <laughs> why? Because you <laughs> love so it. He's so cool. Yeah, okay. He's the cool. He's so cool. Right. Guys, okay. he's a mechanic and he's a superhero. Right, right. Yeah. Um... Another question that she asked: Do you think you can run as fast as Usain Bolt? No, <laughs> unfortunately, no. <laughs> we all know the answer, right? <laughs> okay. Next question, also from her, right? Mm. I don't know why she asked this as well. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? We all know I that, do. but she doesn't know. Yes, I have a boyfriend. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, wedding bell soon, something like that. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Not yet. I don't know. You have to ask him. Uh, no pressure, my friend. <laughs> What's his name, by the way? Song Yang. No pressure. <laughs> uh, next one. What's your favorite? podcast at the moment live if you have to <laughs> you la <laughs> ayo <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much now shanti uh before we go right mm. uh, any advice for budding sprinters athletes coming up you yeah. know maybe at the sports school even if they're listening in or whatever any any you know s- words of advice for them um what's of advice i think uh you know if this is something you want to do for a long time. If you really love it and you have a passion for it, don't be afraid to go for it. I think you will face a lot of um, people telling you that it doesn't really get you anywhere, but I think just trust your gut and go for it. And it's going to be a hard journey. Like, trust me, I know. But just always try to find something in you that um, lets you believe in yourself and remain confident and then you'll be fine. Nice. Where does Shanti Pereira go from here? What What are your plans, uh, targets, and goals besides getting married, lah? But yeah. <laughs> what are what, what are your goals? So I mean, I'm still. Um, pl- my plan is to still continue until continue track until yeah. hopefully twenty 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 four. Okay. That's Paris. Mm. Um, after that, yeah, I'll just see where my you know outside career takes me. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll get back into accountancy or something like that. No. I don't think I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Shanti, thank you for thank being you here so on much. the Silver Fox yeah. Hustle podcast. I think uh, we, I, I've, I've kind of like learned a lot, you mm. know. And and I tell you what, those who are watching this and people who are listening to this, you will know that certain things that you don't know about Shanti, the things that she went through and, and stuff like that. So it, it, it has been very very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you for yeah. having me. Uh, hopefully you you reply to your messages uh, <laughs> on Instagram like maybe check like once in a while or something lah. You know once a day okay, or something. Okay. Because I turned it off. Right. I turned off the not- notification. Okay. So sometimes okay, no, okay. I'm just not gonna Th- explain that's, it. That's an excuse. <laughs> this has been episode number seventy one with the Sprint Queen uh, Shanti Pereira. Now at the end of the podcast, so just uh, click on the subscribe follow button. We are on YouTube, Spotify. Apple Podcasts and everywhere right Uh, till the next episode the hustle beats talent when the talent doesn't hustle cheers